This next match review comes to us from Radio, Radioactive Raccoon, who <laughs> accidentally said they have 12k hours. They meant to say they have 1.2k hours, which is just above that area. I expect most people to know micro and macro uh, fundamentals. Um, so you should be generally aware of gen progress across the map and able to put pressure on them. Uh, you should be generally efficient in chase that sort of thing uh you were playing sadako which is kind of like an underwhelming killer and i know that that hurts because she's a fairly beloved killer but she's kind of like she's just kind of like a middling c tier um she's been reworked so many times she's just kind of like partially lost her identity a fair bit um her main thing is she kind of doesn't really have like anti-chase to really speak of she has that weird thing where she doesn't really get stunned by pallets while she's in ghost form and then she has passive hazing that she can actually control but compared to any other ability in the game to circumvent chase that is almost nothing almost nothing and that's kind of where she suffers a lot thankfully she has a lot of map mobility she has an alternative kill state kind of like pig does so she doesn't she's not like awful but she's just not great either she's kind of just she's like meh the killer um so that may be working against you uh, you're on yamaoka death pagoda so sanctum of wrath um Depending on what variation you get, this may be harder or easier. Um, Sanctum 2 has a lot more of a, a space for survivors to loot because there's not as much of a choke point in the middle of the map as there is on Sanctum 1, which allows you to kind of like patrol gens better. Um, so this kind of depends on which variation you got. Okay, so you're using newspaper and bloody fingernails. Bloody fingernails is kind of like the Sadako add on. <laughs> it might as well just basically with how much people love to run it um doing the the newspaper shenanigans that is also okay um you in terms of your build you have bam surge make limits nowhere to hide the thing that kind of sticks out to me here is that nowhere to hide is kind of out there on its own it's one of the better uh info perks in the game the problem being is that like you don't really have anything else that naturally uh gravitates you to kick gens like a pop an eruption or something so you you're not going to be naturally kicking gens which means you have to remember to use it and in addition surge is going to be damaging gens for you and then ergo preventing you from going and kicking as well so oh, there's a little bit of anti-synergy going on there so just keep that in mind that if i was going to like remove something it'd probably be like nowhere to hide for something that synergizes more with the uh build Choppy. Tanuki! I feel like, uh, like, the problem with Sanctum 1 over Sanctum, or Sanctum 2 over Sanctum 1 is that you don't have the choke point. Because that's one of the things that makes Sanctum 1 pretty good for killer, is you can kind of, like, hold the middle and force a 3 or 4 gen on either side. But you can't do that on Sanctum 2, because, like, the choke point is widened out. I don't know why you didn't go for the guy who's directly in front of you. But he also kind of zoned herself, so. Quick surge, very, very good. I think they're both... Me wrong. I have to look at it again. I think they're both 150 something square tiles. I think the the size is distributed differently, but I could be wrong. I'd have to look at my uh my list again. The map sizes. You're just you're just camping. You you should hit her. Why are you not hitting her? Okay, you're trying so hard to be nice right now that you're giving up on free pressure. It's not your fault that the person that came to save her unhooked her and then immersed. It's not your job to find them. And by choosing to quote unquote be nice, you're just giving them free pressure. You're, and you're rewarding that person's bad habit of just farming and leaving. You're rewarding that bad habit. You have now said to that, You've now said to that survivor that's hiding, like, yeah, this works. But it doesn't. Anybody who's at who's like 12 times meaner than you will take advantage of that and make them miserable. And they won't think it's their fault because killers like you, like, 
made it fine for them. Let's try. I should click in. I hate her chasing. I got beehives in your ear. Man, is that a Legion reference? No. And I don't know where anybody is. See, this is why you don't do this. Because, like, then you end up in the situation where, like, you're just down pressure, period. Because you put so much effort into, like, oh, I don't want to go after the guy that just came off hook. Like, you just end up down pressure, period. Like, you just end up doing nothing. You should have been paying attention. You weren't even, you weren't even, uh, weren't even, uh, demanifested. So, like, you weren't doing passive phasing. She just was not looking. <laughs> you even refer to it as passive phasing on him? I guess you, there is passive phasing, but you can also force it as well. Ah, oh. uh, out my eyes. <laughs> Dude, this is like, you are two gens in, and this is the first time you've gotten value out of this perk. This is what I was talking about. Unless you, like, actively go out of your way to use this, it's not going to be your natural full of gameplay. In that case, why have it at all? Nice. Good call out on him just camping the pallet. Most people went swing there because they're scared. Good job swinging out. Do not really push for condemn now. It's just not really like it's it's a lot harder coming for him. It's like one of those things where like unless you're like somebody who's like, you know, about the character, like you play them all the time in your rotation, like it's so much harder to keep that going. You know? You could have hit her there. You were just being a little too like hesitant about like where she was going. But you just kinda let her have it. Missing a, a swing every once in a while is okay. That's human. You've missed like, like two or three swings almost a chase. Just too much. Going back to it, the thing I always say, match time is gen time. Missing one swing, it's fine. Only adds like two or three seconds to your chase. At worst, they make it to a pallet or window, which extends the chase even more. But if you're doing it multiple times to chase every chase, that, that time adds a big time. You gotta be more patient. You gotta be more patient. At this point, you're looping yourself. You are looping yourself. Why are you taking that loop wider than a Ford F-150? Also, you have BAM. Shut down that window. Again, your own impatience defeats you there. Realistically, there should be another gun about to pop here. Luckily, she gets some stacks locked in. I would go back to that hook, but you're not going to do that because you want to be nice. Okay, now where are you going to go? I don't know why you were resistant to, to go after her initially, but now you are. Don't get distracted by that. Keep going. I don't know. I'll pretty well there. Oh, she's cooked. To <laughs> the bonk. This is the right move because you're at two gens. You need somebody to sacrifice. And I have, uh, yes, either, so you're good. That's not really been like, despite the fact that you have bloody fingers, you're not really like teleporting around at all. You're like missing out on like all of your macro pressure. Or you're just kind of like a mediocre M1 killer if you're not using your map pressure as this killer. You don't have any 
yeah, Kate would not be the person that I'm uh, chasing right now. We go after somebody else. Yeah, you're not really teleporting around the map. I don't know why. Like right now, one of these gens are gonna probably be popping soon. So the fact that you're not looking for someone on one is kind of like risky. That kind of mean a lot. I don't know why she did that. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Alright, like, cool, you won the chase, but like, she hadn't been hooked before, so like. Why is this guy in this locker? Yeah, what did I say? What did I say? Jen was about to pump. I don't know why I did that. Now you just hang out. That'd be cool. They're already done Greek legends. I don't see why not. Just hanging out in locker. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. He had a flashbang earlier. Maybe he was just getting a flashbang real quick and got caught. That's my only guess. I would slug and go after Jill here. No, you just pick. You're very, like, hasty with, like, everything you do. Like, you just kind of, like... You kind of just, like, swing too early. No, you didn't slug there. You're supposed to. Like, you just... You're just kind of, like, very, like... Act and don't think. At least in this match. Yeah, for these vaults, you can just go over the stairs there. You don't need to, like, follow them up. Yeah, you only use BAM when, like... You only use BAM when, like, it's the LLT wall, or else you haven't used it. Yeah, Rezzy also eats up your vaults while you're injured. Although a lot of people argue that it shouldn't. Committing to this. Uh, you should have been able to hit that. We get the grab there at least. This should have been a 4k and it turned into a 2k. Oh, the show's not over yet. Why are you leaving your. Why are you leaving. The only pressure you have. This is the only pressure you have and you're just leaving it. You're just like really greedy. I was trying to use the word hasty earlier, but you're just kind of greedy. You just don't think of the risk factor of like what you do and you just go for it. So a lot of stuff just isn't working out as a result. Yeah, because now they're both injured, so at the very least you get a trade at that hook. There you go. Be careful, there's a beamer in the game. So, you can't just pick automatically. Yeah, you're very greedy with the way you play. Uh, you didn't see anything. Yeah. Nothing happened. It was all an illusion. An illusion, if you will. She's right there. You're, you're, you need to think before you do things. You literally saw her blood around the corner and heard her panting. And you just pick. You gotta slow it down. Like, you just do things and you do not put thought into them. You... You gotta slow it down. This is the most avoidable situation ever, and you just let it happen just because you are you don't think before you do things. Yeah.
She's crawling out. Should she get the save too? I would look around. Yep, here she is. This is what you should have done the first time. You do get the 4k here, but like... Honestly, I... That was an, that was an interesting game. Um, um, so in terms of your main takeaways, um, main one, like emergency one that you need to fix like yesterday, um, is that you are so greedy with the way you play. You, you greed everything. They, they, like you were, you were just like going for swings, lunges way, way, way too early. And you were doing it like three or four times a, a chase. Like, it's no wonder the gens got done, because all of your chase time was super long. Every single chase was long. It's every single chase, not, like, was extended by swing, recover, swing, recover, swing, recover, over and over and over again, you know? So that is, like, and then, like, there at the end, like, you could have ended the game, but you got greedy and just went for the pickup. You're just like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just grab him. <laughs> and you could have ended the whole game. You could have slugged out the remaining three uh, uh, survivors and win the game. But you didn't because you're just too greedy you're just like i gotta get i gotta pick up i gotta get the hook um and then there at the end you saw kate behind the rock you saw her blood so you heard her groaning and you just like went for the pick so like you gotta you gotta slow it down you gotta be more careful like you were so greedy and you gotta like think before you act because you're just being so hasty that like bad things are happening that shouldn't that are completely preventable um the second takeaway is you didn't really use any of your macro pressure here. And especially when you have an add-on that's focused around using your macro pressure, you lost out on a lot of pressure. Um, like you lost out on a lot of pressure. Like you realistically should have been teleporting all around the map, not only to spread stacks of condemned, but also to, um, also to get value out of your add-on and pressure the gens. But you weren't really doing that. You only teleported out like once and it was in the middle of chase. Um, so yeah, that that was not ideal and that would have helped you out a lot. Um, also, you don't really get a lot of value out of your perks here, which is always a huge detriment. Like like I said, because of the anti-surgery between surge and nowhere to hide, you weren't really kicking gens unless you thought to. So you only got, only got like a couple procs of nowhere to hide in an entire game, which is really low. Also, you had Bam, but you only shut down like the L wall, T wall at the back left of the map. Otherwise, you just kind of forgot about it. So I would like these perks, like they're not actually helping you because you're just kind of forgetting to use them. Oh, so, yeah.